Our art is a collaborative work entitled Woven Sanctuary. It is integrated within the Stephen Klein Wellness Center on the corner of 21st and Cecil B. Moore in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The art is dedicated to those who come here in need of healing. It is our hope that this art leads those who come to the center to warmth, comfort, and a pathway to wellness. Much like a woven cloth depends on individual fibers to create something whole, the Stephen Klein Wellness Center thrives through each and every community member. For me, it means uh, that sanctuary isn't something that one person or even one group builds. It's, it's a community effort. It's many people with many gifts, um, people who come from uh, difficult backgrounds, people who come from uh, more privileged backgrounds, but everybody coming together. The sanctuary, not so much like a church, because I remember you said somebody was asking you whether well, it should be a church or something. Not, not like that. More like a cocoon, you know, more like a womb or the bosom or something like that, a sanctuary where um, you feel protected, completely protected, like, you know, you don't have to worry about anything, you get recharged. Well, when you say woven sanctuary, that's a statement within itself, because it's like a sacred place that you could go to. I think we have a very close knit neighborhood, and we've had a lot of meetings for the Wellness Center with people here in the neighborhood, and we also did a lot of surveys. So people really had input in it. So the community is well aware and welcome we all know that cloth comforts and heals. It could be the damp washcloth wiping someone's brow or the warm blanket tucked over someone in need. People bring their own special cloth in and we learn so much from the stories that they share telling us about them. I'm always surprised how people share such very intimate, meaningful memories. It was my intent to bring these memories from the homes, the literal living rooms, bedrooms, closets that are scattered throughout this community to live within this new center, influencing, inspiring, and providing comfort. But going shopping with my father. The last time I actually went shopping, my wife picked that up. That was the last time we went shopping with my father before him passing. It was my kerchief and he had one just like it. My father, when he passed, I buried his with him. And so it's like, I have mine, he has his. And so it's like, okay, just a piece of us are together. <laughs> basket when I went back to Kenya a couple years ago. It reminds me of when I was um, a child growing up, you know, um, the women would get together yes. and, and every, you know, and everybody would sit around the table and either make jewelry or, um, or weave and just, um, and just talk. And I gathered uh, coins from AA and I gathered coins from NA because both of them was the substance that got me where I'm at today. I, I could not be too grateful. I'm, I'm happy, joyful, and free. Um, it's just not enough words to express the gratitude that I have for Project Home. This is my cloth. This is my paint rag. Every day, I, I just put it on my knee like such. And this gives me the whole uh, history sort of like a um, shadow palette. This is the evidence of painting. And all of these pictures are good times. Mm -hmm. You know, we had some really good times. My daughter, my oldest daughter, first wedding is up there. Then my middle daughter's wedding, my son's wedding. So um, it showed, um, it showed uh, the, a lot of the, the events that we had. It showed my family. Here, I met a woman who I now call my friend. Her name was Lenore. She said to me, out of pain comes love and compassion. The strongest emerge and constantly look out for one another. This is a definition of community. I loved it so much I wrote it down. Yeah. I just want to, you know, it's all about um, trust, having hope for people, you know, because a lot of our people don't have hope, you know. Oh, right. 
you know, I, my, yeah, I remember my son saying to me, he said, Mom, we don't think we're going to live till we're 21. And what we're really, um, we really feel privileged and grateful for is that we are able to transform this corner in this block from what was a really painful history to one that now is a symbol of hope and um, new life and renewal for the community. I want this to be a place where anyone who comes in the door feels safe. So they feel that they're going to, that they're going to be listened to and that they're going to be respected. What helps? What works? What will take away the barriers that block people on their journey to wellness, health, and happiness? I'm not sure what does work, but I am very glad that there is an organization like Project Home trying to clear the way for those who want to take the path of a life of wellness and well-being. Why the art? Why the paint, cloth, glass, water, and light? What is it going to do? I do believe that the most valuable things we can bring as artists are our open hearts, imaginations, talent, and a practice that will sustain us as we collaborate, coming armed with paint, cloth, glass, water, and light.